Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, today, I'm going to do a recap of week one uh, modules and uh, material in week one, and then also give you a um, overview of the areas in, in module two that uh, you should take a look at and really focus on. Um, in week one, we kind of went through the textbook and chapters, uh, the introduction chapter one and the voice um, communications in chapter three. Um, so let's get into that thing and take a look at those, those modules quick. Um, in that chapter one, they had some learning objectives um, regarding the history of telecommunications. Um, what I wanted you to get out of that um, was basically the uh, Royal Mail system and how they use the Royal Mail uh, Highway to distribute uh, communications um, through that region. The other areas that I wanted to focus on were the, the different types of how the empire, the policy and the funding, building, and maintaining those roads was also important in the uh, continued operations of that system. And that's the same as today with any type of uh, business that you have. Um, you're gonna have uh, that business have its own uh, business policy and procedures, how to maintain um, their infrastructure. And it doesn't really matter what type of business that is. Otherwise, they won't be in business very long. The other areas that I wanna talk about, the national government uh, area, which um, I just wanna read this, where have aimed to ensure the highest quality telecommunications services are provided to the society on an equitable basis and the infrastructure to the connected people and facilitated fast and reliable messaging continues to be multifaceted uh, strategic asset. So the government wants to make sure that everybody has equal broadband and you're finding that in um, through the FCC and all these different cap funding operations um, that they're given subsidized, subsidized money to um, different broadband companies to build out in the rural areas and build those rural areas so that everybody has um, at least some broadband service in those areas. And you're finding that more and more, at least in the state of Wisconsin and uh, throughout the United States. Uh, the last thing I want to kind of talk about, well, maybe not the last thing in the uh, chapter one, was the um, technology business and policy framework um, is a valuable telecom uh, analyst as it's enabled them to first examine whether telecommunications technology is re reliable and efficient. Okay, if it's not that, okay, people are going to lose money. And when you lose money, they go uh, bankrupt and belly up. And um, that's one of the things you have to re have a return on your investment. Um, other than that, the only other thing I wanted to, you know, some of the highlights were uh, the top five technologies um, here, broadband telecommunications may define as the information's uh, transmission at very high rates, okay? And that's from starting up with, you just, plain voice services, the dial-up services, to DSL, uh, to um, fiber to the home, and it shows all those different bandwidth rates. Um, let's see, the growth of broadband telecommunication services has profoundly impacted many facets of our lives. Um, it signifies different changes in your study, work, play, entertainment, and uh, taking care of our health, sharing knowledge and socializing, and even wage wars. That was a very key point in this uh, chapter as well. I guess the last thing that I want to touch base in chapter one was the um, uh, coming decades are expected to witness the rollout of network sensors, which collect information on the environment and surroundings, our health, our work, and many other aspects of our lives, and shared across the network, referred to as the Internet of Things. If you have not heard um, 
IoT or Internet of Things, you will in the future. Everything is going to be, um, I guess, going through a network and monitoring um, our environments, um, ourselves. So uh, that is the future, the Internet of Things. Uh, the next chapter I want to talk about is the Voice Communications, Chapter 3. And that's where you kind of found out the history of how this all started, the voice, voice uh, um, telecommunications industry, through all the different uh, inventors, uh, from Chefe to uh, Bell, um, and a variety of other ones that had their hands in the mix of, of this type of uh, um, technology. You also talked there, the chapter um, informed you about how sound um, signals got converted to electric uh, signals and vice versa, you know, how you could communicate um, back and forth. So that was a, a key point. Um, the different types of switching from manual switching when they had switchboard operators to electronic switching, um, how local exchanges took care of the, that eventually and how they could actually start providing service to their customers. Um, you probably remember some of you way back with party lines um, where you shared um, party services where you know you may had one had one person on the call as you lift up the receiver um, you could hear them talking and you had to wait your turn. Um, different types of frequency and bandwidth um, that's how it's measured so voice frequency um, it's it's actually related from 300 Hertz to 3400 hertz. That's the intelligible voice frequency that we speak in. That's how these networks were all designed and engineered in that uh, uh, bandwidth range. Now, hearing wise, and what we can speak, you can actually can hear between 20 and uh, 20,000 uh, hertz. But in that frequency range, it is not um, intelligible in that in that range. So between 300 and 3,400 hertz is intelligible, and that's why um, we use that uh, frequency range. And the different types of switching and modulation, um, how we can actually do some multiplexing. Um, but in these chapters, this is an entry level uh, 101 basic course. This, these chapters sometimes go over and above information, um, more of the engineering, uh, higher management to understand this. I want you to be feel at ease that uh, you're not going to need to know all the ins and outs of each one of these chapters. So keep that in mind as you're going through this. Um, I'm picking certain uh, questions that you can review in these uh, modules and actually tests that you're going to be taking. You know, is an open book that you should be able to find most of the answers, if not. You should have read most of the uh, uh, material to answer those questions. In this chapter three, we had the transatlantic cable, how that actually got developed going across the Atlantic Ocean. So it was kind of neat to um, understand that concept and so forth. Um, and then just the different types of uh, um, the bill operating uh, companies, how they invested uh, uh, capture um, and different type of uh, operation expenditures, revenues and your policies and so forth like that. Um, oh, then they talked about the private branch exchanges, PBXs and then lease lines. Uh, we'll talk about this a little bit later in uh, other modules. Um, the PBX was a phone system, a big phone system that can handle um, hundreds of users compared to a key system, which is just for smaller businesses. And what they are is a their sharing device. So uh, in years ago, you'd have to have one person would have to have one telephone line with PBX and key systems. Then you can share systems, extensions, and phone lines because they're not being used all at the same time. That's what that was uh, Kind of the highlights of that area uh, and that was about it for um, that section
So with that, that's kind of the recap of uh, module one. Um, we do have in these modules uh, a one credit uh, discussion board um, that kind of allows you to ask questions or you know concerns that you didn't understand a certain topic or area, maybe a question, the reviews, um, anything like that. So please use that uh, um, review module to ask those questions. Um, if you understand it completely, um, just say, I think I covered the material or the material was covered appropriately. And um, that's about it. And it's an easy one point um, for those um, discussion boards. And in the other areas that we had was the local loop, the telephone services. I just want to touch base on a couple of these things. Um, as you went through that presentation or PDF, it talked about the local loop. And this is the loop between um, the central office, uh, telephone company, you may uh, name it as that, to the subscriber. All right. And the other name for this is also called the subscriber loop. And these are different areas that uh, um, you have a direct connection to the central office all the way out to the subscriber. Um, let's just go down. I want to touch base on a couple other ones. And it talks about the different type of hierarchy, trunk lines, trunk lines going in between the um, central offices, uh, the carriers, um, and regulation. Who regulates us? Um, the FCC. The FCC will monitor and make sure all uh, the guidelines are in place so that uh, um, the Public Utility Commission can actually monitor those areas and make sure that uh, all services are um, developed and, and equally distributed amongst those guidelines. Um, talked about the deregulation, um, splitting up the, the mob bells, um, and this because they had a monopoly on on the uh, industry, good, bad, or otherwise, uh, breaking up monopolies uh, brings in competition and also brings down um, costs. And I think that's about it. If you went through there, that's pretty much self-explanatory of the breakups and the different types of uh, congressional acts. So with that, um, that kind of is the review of module one. I want to touch base on what kind of highlights in module two that, that I'm expecting. Um, you will have another study guide to answer questions. Uh, module two is, is um, talking about the outside plant copper cables. Um, we do have some videos that we're gonna talk about uh, the different types of uh, um, copper cables, twisted pure copper uh, in these modules. So take a look at uh, all the videos. We also have one important um, PowerPoint or PDF slide that has um, abundant information on here. And I just want to make sure that you touch base and it gives a very good explanation of all the acronyms, at least a lot of the acronyms that we uh, talk about. You're going to hear OSP, outside plant, okay? That's all, everything that's dealing with outside, from uh, cables to poles to manholes, central office. So take a look at this, this uh, slideshow um, PDF, and you should get um, some very good information regarding the whole basic uh, conception of the outside plant and all the actual components dealing with that. Let's see here. What else we have in module two is all the different types of cable characteristics, um, um, different types, um, specifications, um, if they're aerial, if they're buried. Uh, we get into the color code, cable count, um, how, how that takes place and the importance of identifying uh, different uh, um, cables and their color code. 
I do have another um, um, assessment to see if you're colorblind because identifying uh, cable colors, not only for copper, but for fiber optics is very important. So you match up the copper cables um, to each other when you're doing any type of splice or drop and stuff like that is critical. Otherwise, you're not gonna have your um, circuit done properly. So I do have one more assessment that I'm gonna be adding onto that. And then once again, you'll have your, your module test You'll have your module review to um, discuss any of the information uh, that you may have questions about or any issues that we need to address um, in any of the assignments. For example, we might have a link that's not working or a video not working, so you can put that in there. Um, but also, if there's any questions or concerns regarding um, any of the material, um, please let me know. And everybody's been doing a great job so far. Um, we've had some little glitches here and there. That's one thing about having an online class is uh, we do have uh, an issue every once in a while that we have to address. But um, everybody, everybody uh, has been uh, notifying if there is an issue or a concern, so I don't see any problem with that. That's a recap of Module 1 and uh, I kind of information of what to cover in uh, Module 2. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.